next ad we have to go for is from the company Garlock, who is still in existence today. They make gaskets. They don't make asbestos gaskets anymore, but they sure used to. And this is an early ad that they put out in the teens or 20s, as long as it has the, the date on it. But they put this out advertising that, you know, hey, we've got this great warranty if you use any of our asbestos gaskets. And I looked up the Garlock uh, 950 compressed gasket, and it's absolutely asbestos. And they even say that it was made with Canadian asbestos, probably from the Jeffrey mine, but it could have come from a couple others. So let me show you exactly what an asbestos gasket looks like. What we have here is an asbestos gasket. I don't believe it's a Garlock gasket, but the principle is the same. You can tell they're kind of solid sounding gaskets. It takes a little pressure to twist them. And these are what would have been used in high temperature, high pressure applications, except much larger. This is a pretty small gasket. Uh, they made them bigger. And if it was for a really big pipe, a lot of times you'd have to use a, a sheet gasket and cut it out. But this is what an asbestos gasket would look like. And you can see the uh, white fibers that chrysotile asbestos. I'm not particularly worried about the health concerns of being around this because I'm not grinding on it or cutting it or slashing it or doing anything that could really release the fibers and get them in the air. And also, as you'll learn in part three, the occasional fiber being breathed in isn't going to be a problem because in actuality, we're all breathing in asbestos all day, every day, because every city has a background level of asbestos in it. If it's an industrialized city, there's asbestos in the air, some more so than others. It's very, very small doses. So I'm, I'm not going to start grinding on this gasket, uh, and I'm absolutely going to uh, you know, clean up to any of the debris that fell. And you can see here, a little bit fell here and here. We're going to get that all cleaned up. We have a HEPA vacuum, and we take all the proper precautions. But I want people to see what an asbestos gasket looks like. So if you come across one ever, do not use a wire brush or wheel or grinder or anything like that, because that's what will make the clouds of dust that really, truly would be dangerous. So this is an asbestos gasket, like we saw advertised. Thank you.